Hi there, um, this is quite an exciting video for all you Ctrader coders out there. Um, in Ctrader version 4.3, they've um, released a new feature for the API that will allow you to actually display pop-up windows. So you might want to do um, a pop-up message on the screen when an indicator has a certain signal. Now previously you had to write quite a bit of code for doing that and uh, might have been beyond the basics sort of coder for Ctrader. So I'm going to show you how to actually do it with one line of code and how to make it look nice. So what I'll do is I'll go straight to Ctrader Automate, which is the bottom left. Um, I'm assuming most of you know about Ctrader already and uh, Ctrader Automate. If you're not, there's a link at the bottom of this YouTube channel that will actually explain about Ctrader Automate and other things. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new indicator. So I click on the Indicators tab up here, select New. Now this is the new indicator template that comes up when you first start. Um, I've got previous videos that I also can put link to this uh, at the bottom of this YouTube channel that actually explain a, the structure of a standard Ctrader indicator for Ctrader 4.3. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a, um, a one-liner code um, to show you how to do a pop-up message when the indicator first starts. So when the indicator first starts it calls this method called initialize. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the code here, but before I start, make sure your target framework at the top here is .NET 6. If you are trying to add this message box to one of your old indicators or even CBOTs, um, it might be down there as uh, .NET for, uh, Framework 4. Point, um, whatever. So you really want it on .NET 6 or upgrade to .NET 6 if you want to actually um, use this feature that I'm about to show you. So all you do is you start typing in message. And you can see it's got some options there, message box. Now you can do message box, which is the object, and you can just call it, um, sorry, do message box dot show. Okay, so that's the method. You just put a dot there and it will actually come up with an option to say what you can choose. I'll get rid of the one there. Now you do open parenthesis and you've got, you see it says one of five. That means that when you construct this method, uh, message box, you know, with what you want to set, uh, send or display, your first parameter is just the text. So I could just put, I'll start with just the first parameter, close semicolon, very simple one for you. And I'm going to call it hello. Okay. It's that simple. Now what I do is I build it. So I'm going to do call it, um, I'm actually going to call the indicator by right clicking on it. I'm going to call it message test. Okay. And up here I want to filter out everything. So I'm going to type in the name of the bot message test. That makes it cleaner for you to see what's going on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build it by clicking on this little icon here. Okay. First time round build will take a few seconds. And once that's built, which it has, to actually see it in action, we just add a CBOT, uh, sorry, an indicator instance, any, any kind of symbol. Now you can see that indicator was added to the chart. There's nothing in the indicator. And it come up with a message on the screen, just says hello. Click OK. It's very, very simple for doing it. Now what I'm going to do is show you some of the other um, parameters that you can put in here. There was five parameters, if you remember. If I do open parenthesis, it's given me five different parameters, one of five. I click on this little button here. And the second one we can choose is the message display and the caption of the message box. The third one is the message, the caption, and then a button. And the button can be um, OK, yes, no, and some other stuff. I'll show you that in a minute. The fourth one is the icon one you want to choose to put on the message box. And the fifth one if you want a return result. Now I'll show you another video later on how to get a return result from um, a message box and how to use that. So you could ask somebody a question and it'll actually um, come back with an answer, true or false. And with that answer, you can decide what you want to do with your code. But I'll do that in a separate video. I'm going to keep this very simple and just show you how to do a message box. So we're going to just do four out of five. So the next one we want to do is first is the message. And I'm going to call it, um, hello, this is a test. My keyboard might be a little bit loud. And the second one is the caption. Okay, so that's what we want to show at the top of the message box. I'm going to do it in capitals. I'm going to go message test. Okay, and the third option is the button. Now you can see there's an enum there. It says message box button. To actually get this, it doesn't actually come up here. We need to write out message box button. It's an enum. So message box button. And then you click the dot and it gives you choices. You can choose OK, OK cancel, yes, no, or yes, no cancel. We're just going to choose OK cancel. Oops, it moved out of the way. Go back in. OK, OK cancel, comma. And the last one we're going to do is the icon. 
So again, um, to access the icon, we have to type in message box image. And then we do the dot and the options are error, information, none, question or warning. Now you might want to do a message box that displays an error to the user. So you'd use error. If an information, just a bit of information to the user, you choose information. If you don't want any image, you choose none. If it's a question with a question mark, like you're having a return value to say, what would you like to do? You do question and you might want to do warning to warn the user. I'm going to choose information. And if that goes, you just got to type in. You can type it in or just click on any one of these. OK, so now if I build this and go here, you can see it's come up now with the um, caption message, message test, message test, um, the message. Hello, this is a test. The icon, which is information, you've got the OK button and the cancel button. So this gives you a lot of flexibility to add uh, message boxes anywhere in your code for your indicator or your CBOT. It might be a CBOT where you want to ask a question or give information or anything like this. And you can put it anywhere in your code um, where you might need it. But this is just to show you the new feature of CTrader 4.3 at the moment and how easy it is to actually add a message box um, to your projects. OK, that's it. Um, before I go, if any of you um, are not familiar with our um, who we are and if you're actually interested in our algorithmic trading school, because I haven't actually advertised this at the start, I'll just quickly show you now. I mean, we're running an algorithmic trading school to help traders um, learn how to code. Um, you just come to our website, you go into education, algorithmic courses, scroll down here and we've got um, various courses. They're all YouTube uh, tutorial videos and they're all help you out in um, programming you actually using Microsoft C Sharp and C Trader. So the first video we're doing is coding telegram alerts for any indicator. So you can receive telegram alerts. And if you go to our YouTube channel, I'll just click on that. That'll open that. I want to go to YouTube. And if I go to our channel, just in case, Hello, welcome to our first. Dunk. and if I had to go to our channel, just the last bits and bobs to show you. Now we've got a YouTube channel here. You can come and see us and you'll find various videos. Um, about our education and products. Okay, that's all I want to say. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.